Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Do you have difficulty tracking the books that you want to read or even those that you own? Have you ever found yourself picking up a title to read only to find that a few pages in it looks familiar and you've actually read it before? I know that I have, which is why I'm pleased to have found the app that I'm going to show you today and that's BookTrack. Now BookTrack is a simple application on iPhone, iPad and the Mac that allows you to create wish lists for books, as well as create your own library and assign them tags. It's a really versatile application. I'm gonna show you the iPad version today in this screencast. It costs £1.99 on iOS and macOS, and it uses iCloud Sync to synchronize your library between devices. So let's get to it. Okay, I've downloaded BookTrack already from the iOS app store, and I'm gonna open it for the first time here. And the first time that I open, I receive a pop-up that just runs through some of the features that are new in BookTrack. And we're gonna cover all of these, so I'll click continue. Now, as you can see, the interface is very clean and BookTrack really has two main sections. The library, which is where you will keep the titles that you currently own, and the wish list, which will contain books and titles that you wish to purchase at some point in the future. First of all, though, we're going to look at how to add titles into BookTrack. So I'm going to tap the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And there are three options to add a book. We can search online, we can scan a barcode and manually insert one. Let's search online first. And let's pick a book to look for. Now, one of my favorite series ever was the Stephen King Dark Tower series. So I'll search for Dark Tower and press enter and BookTrack searches online for titles that may match. Now there are seven books in the main Dark Tower series. However, as I scroll, I can see there are lots of others here that I wasn't actually aware of. And I may add some of these to my wish list later. Um, for now though, I'm just gonna go back up and I'll add the first book in the series to my library. And that one is The Gunslinger. There's a lot of info here. We've got the book image, our rating out of five, and I'll show you how to edit that soon. We have a summary of the book. For now though, I'm just worried about the two icons in the top right hand corner. So on the left, we have the wish list icon and tapping this adds to the wish list. And on the right, we have the library one, which, yep, you guessed it, adds it to our library. So I'll tap that to add it. And as I scroll, there is some more information, including adding our own personal notes, as well as links to purchase the book online. For now though, I'll just click done and that'll add the book to the library. Let's add another book now, and this one's going to go into our wish list. So let's search for Harry Potter. And I want the first book in the series, which in the UK is called The Philosopher's Stone, and I believe it's The Sorcerers in the US. I can see philosophers here, but I can't see the artwork, and I want to have that really. So let's change the search. I'm going to add the word stone and press enter. And there are a few options here in the results, some different artwork to choose from as well. I'm going to select the first one here and tap the wish list icon to add it to my wish list and then over to done. And in the search screen here, there is a red marker to show me that the version of the book is being added to my wish list. So I'll tap done again. And if I tap wish list, we can see it there. Okay, I'm going to go back to library. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member. 